Welcome back to the channel where we explore, learn, and theorize about the Marvel Universe. Today I'll be talking about more projects exploring the past and the future of the MCU, Sony and Marvel Studios working together on the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and details on the T'Challa as Star-Lord What If episode. Now let's get started. In an interview on the Phase Zero podcast, Kevin Feige stated that the notion of exploring the past, present, and the future of the MCU is in the cards for all of our characters, which means that we could potentially see more prequels like Black Widow for other characters in the future, we could see more projects set way in the past like The Eternals, and we could even see projects set in the future like how Loki recently went to 2050, or possibly something set in 2099 or even further. And this is incredibly interesting because during a press conference for Black Widow, David Harbour was asked if he'd like to see a Captain America vs Red Guardian story, to which he replied with, What's funny about Alexei is that you have this 25 year gap we don't know anything about. We see him in Ohio and in the prison, but even before the prison, there was this time when he was the Red Guardian. He must have put the suit back on. There's this period of time where he has all these stories about his life. It's questionable whether or not they're real, but I do think that the classic Cold War thing is a really fun and funny dynamic between these two guys and the fact that they came up like nuclear warheads like in an arm race together. I think it's a great concept that could be explored further, and in my opinion, it would be awesome to see more of Red Guardian and hopefully the Winter Guard in the MCU. But it would also be cool to see a young Red Guardian take on Captain America. Next, Disney's marketing president, Asad Yaz, had something to say about the wait for the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, saying Sony is absolutely handling the marketing for Spider-Man. Kevin Feige and his team are closely partnering with the Sony team on those, so there is coordination in that sense. We also make sure we're aware of who's dropping what when but we're not working together on the campaigns because it's their film. They're handling it, but there's a level of coordination to make sure that it's a win-win for everybody. And while we still don't know when the trailer is coming, at least we know that Marvel and Sony are working together on it. And lastly, the Illuminati have already given details for a couple of Marvel's upcoming What If episodes, including Party Thor, a post-apocalyptic Black Widow slash Ultron episode, the Sakaar Iron Man and seemingly Killmonger episode, and now we have some new info on the T'Challa as Star-Lord episode. According to the Illuminati sources, T'Challa will not only take on the moniker of Star-Lord, but he'll also be leading the Ravagers, who in this version are reformed criminals on galactic adventures. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Which other time periods would you like to see in the MCU, and how excited are you for What If? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.